While it is possible to replace the right side engine mount without removing all of the lines on top of the engine, I did so to get better pictures. I would recommend removing these lines to give you more room to work and a chance to see what you're doing. If you decide to go this route, first begin by labeling all the fuel lines, coolant lines, and evap lines that are in your way and then remove them. They are just a series of hose clamps and push-pull connectors for the fuel lines. You are going to be supporting the engine while replacing the mounts. Never remove both mounts at the same time while supporting the engine with only a floor jack. Also, all the hardware are stretch bolts and considered single use only. Always replace them. On the right side, if you do not have an aftermarket air induction system, you will need to remove the engine cover. If you need assistance with that, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. Next, remove the charged air pipe. Charged air runs through a pipe that is secured by an 8mm bolt, blue arrow, and a T30 torque, green arrow, and enters the interior by a quick release fitting, yellow arrow. If you need additional assistance with that task, again, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. Remove the engine under tray. There are four T25 torque screws, red arrows, on each side holding the tray on. Remove them and slide the tray back out of the friction clips, yellow arrow on the front air dam. You're going to have to move the overflow reservoir to get the mount out. If you take care, you do not need to drain the coolant. Separate the small line from the reservoir, unplug the electrical connection, and remove the two T25 torque screws and set the reservoir up out of the way to the right side so it will not spill. Use a 10 mm wrench and remove the fill tube for the windshield reservoir, red arrow. You are going to need to support and be able to lift the motor while performing this job. Place a piece of wood under the oil pan to help distribute the weight of the motor between the pan and the jack. Place your floor jack towards the right side of the engine and support the weight, red arrow. Remove the two 13mm bolts holding the bracket between the chassis and the motor mount, as indicated by the red arrows. Remove the access plug from the right wheel well and remove the 18mm bolt holding the mount to the engine red arrow. Use a universal joint and an 18 millimeter socket and remove the lower mount to engine bolt, red arrow. You can see in this image the access hole in the fender well for the other bolt, yellow arrow. Remove the two 18 millimeter bolts from the chassis to engine mount, red arrows. Remove the two 16 millimeter bolts holding the mount to the chassis, red arrows. You can now remove the chassis part of the engine mount, red arrow, from the vehicle. Installation is the reverse of removal. Before you torque down the bolts, make sure the engine mount is parallel to the mount bracket on the axis and that there is a minimum of 10 millimeters between the engine and the frame rail. Moving on to the left side. Use a piece of wood to help spread the load and place a floor jack under the transmission, red arrow. Slightly lift the transmission until you are supporting the weight. You will need to remove the battery and tray to get access to the left side or transmission side mount. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with those tasks. With the battery tray removed and the weight of the transmission supported, you can remove the three 18 mm bolts, red arrows. Unclip the plastic wiring tray and move it out of the way. This will give you access to the four 16 mm bolts, red arrows, one hidden. Remove the four bolts. With the bolts removed, you can remove the mount from the vehicle, red arrow. This image illustrates the hard rubber in the mount, red arrow. This is what will wear out, break down, and tear over the life of the mount. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.